Hi guys, I'm Shermika McCrary and today I will be presenting my final project for creative and critical thinking. So here is a rough draft of how I wanted my project to look. Next we'll look at the materials. For this project you're going to need your paints, paint brushes, glaze, a pencil, wood of course, a bowl for water, and paper towel for easy cleanup. Step 1. So even though I did a sketch on paper, I wanted to also sketch on wood so it will be a little easier to do the painting. Now for the fun part. So as stated before, I used the sketches um, to guide me as I was painting, making sure to paint each object and puzzle piece one at a time to prevent smearing. to add some shine. As the finishing touch, I use Krylon Clear Glaze to give the paint somewhat of a glossy look. And voila, a finished product. The writer has his story, the musician has her music, and the poet has his or her words. Despite the element or the creation, they all serve a purpose. My creators were Henry Miller, the writer, Richard Freeman, the physicist, Paul John, the psychiatrist, Sidney Bechet, the musician, Miro Orchester, the poet, and Isadora Duncan, the dancer. In doing this project, I was tasked with finding the one thing that connected myself and each of these creators. That one thing was passion. This is why I use the wooden heart. The puzzle pieces represents the connection, and each symbol within the puzzle pieces represents each of our roles. For example, the brain represents the psychiatrist, the chalkboard represents the physicist, the saxophone represents the musician, the mouth represents the poet, book and feather represents the writer, the ballet shoes represents the dancer, and since I work in a hospital, the human body represents me, the patient advocate. Class, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoy doing this project. Again, my name is Sharmika McCrary, and this is my final project for creative and critical thinking. Thank you.